Very good morning, very good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. This is Dr. Ria, PhD. I'm going to speak today about the beneficial effects of garlic uh, on blood pressure and uh, cholesterol. The scientific name of garlic is Allium sativum. Allium comes from the, um, it's Latin, it means garlic. And uh, sativum means a cultivated uh, crops cultivation. Garlic belong to the family Amaridaceae. And it is a plant which is uh, uh, known as garlic in English and in French as ail. The part uh, used are the bulbs. You know the bulbs are, of course, everyone knows garlic, but one bulb is made of several little cloves. Uh, um, and we all know that taking garlic in the mouth, okay, will give a sensation of, of burn and it's unbearable and because garlic contains very large amounts of uh, substances which are um, um, organic substance, volatile substances containing uh, sulfur. And uh, also uh, garlic contains, well, for instance, according to a paper published by Harris and co-workers in 2001, um, this substance, uh, sulfur substance, are two sulfinates, including allicine and allylmethane thiosulfinate, which are actually the active constituents of uh, uh, garlic cloves. We also have some uh, flavonoids, such as quercetin, myricetin, and epigenin, according to Azimi and co workers in a published, Adam paper published in uh, 2000. And 14. Let us go into the history of um, garlic. Garlic was known uh, from the beginning of time. Um, I don't want to go into too much details. Um, there is a lot of to say. Um, garlic was known uh, of Nero. Uh, sorry, it was uh, was known of um, Pedanus Judius Corridus, uh, first century doctor physician of Nero. And Dioscorid um, at that time says that garlic is diuretic, uh, meaning in, including um, it induces the secretion of urine and also anti inflammatory. Another um, Roman um, uh, scholar of that time is Pliny, that recommends garlic for angina pectoris. It's very interesting. Huh? Um, also, the Greek physician Galen in the second century um, says that garlic is hot and dry to the fourth degree. So what happened is that um, in the Middle Ages and in the, the antique world, the plants, medicinal plants, were divided in either cold, hot, dry, and humid that were able to treat some diseases themselves classified into hot, cold, dry, and humid and garlic is the hottest and uh, the driest of all. Um, we also have um, some prominent figures in the 16th century, like the Italian herbalist Pietro Mattioli, that writes that garlic, in his commentary of Dioscori, that um, garlic is um, diuretic, but uh, very interesting, he writes that black olives taken with garlic and clogged arteries. All of these are indications that uh, garlic has blood thinning properties. The French uh, professor of medicine, Dalechamp, in the 16th century, um, says that garlic was good for farmers. He wrote a lot about garlic, but I just take uh, interesting uh, points, which tend to the fact that garlic is able to enhance uh, physical powers. Uh, the French pharmacist and professor of uh, pharmacy, Nicolas Guibou, writes in 1836 that garlic um, was used as an antiseptic. 
and a lot of others um, um, historical evidence um, today garlic of course is used everywhere globally uh, for food it is used medicinally in uh, Asia like in Afghanistan Iran Iraq India Bangladesh and in the Philippines where uh, gloves or garlics are eaten raw for hypertension it is also used as a diuretic in uh, Bangladesh and uh, in Myanmar garlic is used uh, as a main aphrodisiac for longevity and in Thailand it is used for the treatment of headache what are the beneficial effects uh, of garlic on the aging cardiovascular system according to recent published evidence there is a, a large number of uh, scientific evidence to support the claim that garlic is of you know uh, good for blood pressure and cholesterol for instance a study published by Wong and co-workers in 2015 demonstrate that intake of garlic causes a decrease of systolic and diastolic blood pressure uh, Warshawski and co-author in 1993 states that taking about one half to one cloth per day of garlic is able to decrease total serum cholesterol by about nine percent and garlic oil given orally to rats at the dose of 50 mg per kilo per day evoked anticoagulant effects uh, in uh, rodent according to uh, Chan and co-workers in 2007 um, uh, feeding rats with a show containing 1% of uh, garlic powder is able to prevent ventricular tachycardia and fibrillation in obese, uh, this is published by Ensen C and co workers in 1993. And in obese rats, garlic extract at uh, 500 mg per kilo per day for four weeks was able to uh, protect the kidneys, uh, according to Ali and co workers in uh, 2016. And many other publications, um, we can also mention V. Dia Shankar and co workers in 2008 saying that garlic powder at 0.6% of diet for 10 weeks prevented the formation of gallstone in mice on a cholesterol and bile salt enriched diet. In conclusion of this uh, video, which makes no claim, but it's just here to try to help people around to take care of their health in a safe way, um, it is possible to say that um, taking say one to two fresh cloves of garlic per day um, could be beneficial um, to prevent high blood pressure and also um, high cholesterol um, it is possible to cut these uh, cloves in small pieces and mix them with rice or in soups um, if you are taking medications uh, for uh, like warfarin or blood thinning or if you have any other medical conditions please consult your medical doctor um, garlic taken at high dose is extremely dangerous and can be lethal okay um, it, it is not possible to take too much garlic huh? uh, and also it will evoke anemia according to Yamamoto and co-workers in 2005 so in conclusion by taking not not too much but say for instance mixing regularly some fresh garlic in food might could be a way to control high blood pressure and uh, cholesterol um, with that i thank you very much and i wish you all the best